he has already proven unstoppable. Now that he has grasped the number one plate, he's not ready to give it up. Chris Boric wins the Ironman and your 2011 GNCC Championship. One race remains. Can Chris Boric keep his streak alive? Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Racer TV. Jason Wygant, your host. This is the grand finale of your 2011 Can-Am Grand National Cross Country Series for ATVs and a very fitting venue for that finale. We're at Loretta Lane Ranch. This facility, world famous in motocross circles for its amateur national championship in the summer. But today, it's all about GNCC racing in the woods. We have a 12-mile course. We should get four laps in the two hours of allotted time and nearly 1,000 riders on hand. Rider to watch, of course, Chris Boric, your defending champion. This man, Taylor Kaiser, second in the series last year, not happy about his 2011 tour. No wins yet. This guy, Adam McGill, has a few victories. And uh, there's a very happy Cook family, Ryan on the right, looking for his first win of the year. Chris Bithell is always in contention, and the GoPro folks are here strapping some cameras onto the top of riders such as Adam McGill right there. So we should have a good view of what it's like to run up front. Let's send it to the start. And guess who that is on the inside? Gonna try to control it on the 9X. Nine-time champion Bill Balance has the whole shot. Only races on occasion. Run about half the rounds this year, but when he does show up, he can still nail starts. We'll see what kind of endurance old Bill has in the tank. Everyone else, as you can see, Chris Boric with our Amsoil Oil Helmet Cam. Gotta go slow through the creek. You do not want to drown your machine out or get yourself totally ruined early on. And Boric with a bad start, getting pelted with rocks, had to get stuck on the outside of that corner. So Boric has his work cut out for him early in this one. As Bill Balance leads the way, and the fans got to be pumped, although it looks like uh, Kaiser now has taken over the number one spot. Kaiser is the young protege of Balance in the Balance Racing Yamaha team. There's Balance back to second. There's Boric up to fourth. So in that field section that separates this water crossing from the trail that we saw on the helmet cam earlier, he has made a lot of moves. Way back here is Adam McGill. We've got the helmet cam on him but uh, he's outside of the top 10, so he's gonna be dealing with mud and rocks. We'll see how long the helmet can last, and you see that mud there on the lens? Well, he's dealing with that on his goggles as well. He's gonna be pulling tear offs while this man, Taylor Kaiser, takes off. And he's got a nice lead built up already over balance. Kaiser told us at the beginning of the year that he is working harder than ever, and we expected big things out of him, but it has been a little bit worse in 2011 than it was in 2010. Last year, he was the one on Boric's heels in most of the races, got himself a win, finished second in the points. The kid out of Florida has to be frustrated, so he's trying to take advantage while Balance battles it out. I believe you have Jared McClure and Boric, and now McGill beginning to work their way to the front. So passing, not a problem on this track at Loretta Lanes. We have been racing this series here for nearly 30 years, so the trails are well established. You see the width between the trees, plenty of room to make moves, and if that's not wide enough for you, riders know you get up on the left side there, find a fast line, a hot line as they like to call it, and you can make moves. So for Kaiser, and you can see he has to hammer down, the key is to not let anyone catch his dust. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see where you're riding. He wants to run and hide. We don't ordinarily see that on the first lap of these races. We often see riders choose not to lead. They want to run second and third and study. Kaiser knows on this type of wide open racetrack, he just wants to pin it all the way to the end. If these guys catch him, see all the different lines out here, they can make passes. So it's McClure on the National Guard, uh, Yoki Racing Honda, then you got Balance, then you got Borch, and you've got McGill. And that is fun to see the old Boric versus Balance battle there. Right now it's for third, not for the lead. But uh, for those of you unfamiliar with this series, we're on to the motocross track here. 
Boric, all the skills he has in winning races, the last lap charges he likes to put in, he learned those at the hands of Balance, who fended off Boric for many a championship in this series. There's McClure, there is McGill, there is Boric. They cleared Balance, and uh, Balance admits he's not a full-time racer trainer anymore. There's uh, Chris Bithel, who's now moved up to fifth. So Balance falling off the pace a bit, but no problems for his teammate. Taylor Kaiser is taking off. He's got a full straightaway lead as we head past the pits on lap one. Can he hold it? Stay tuned. Racer TD is brought to you by Can-Am, by Amtoil, by DWT, and by Suzuki. Welcome back to our coverage of the Can-Am Grand National Cross Country Series. We'll give you the highlights of our morning race earlier today. Championship battle down to the wire in the 4x4 Open Division. Watch the man on the right, Michael Swift, needs to win today. And watch, he's going to take the lead early, bouncing as he heads into the creek. Handful of throttle, he doesn't care. He's totally soaked about 30 seconds into a two-hour race. He doesn't care. He's got to go for it. Basically, it's down to this, Swift versus Brian Buchanan. And whoever wins the race would win the championship in the class. So here's Swift on the 210, trying to get away early. And Buchanan and Zach Sikowski are right there, those three. You can't believe those are 700-pound ATVs, the way they bounce through this terrain. Now, there are other classes to watch. Behind the utility guys, you've got this man, the 50-plus champion, Dave Simmons, who often wins the overalls on his Yamaha 450. And he would win the morning overall today at Loretta's. As for the 4x4 championship heartbreak, Swift runs into mechanical troubles. He wouldn't finish. Buckhannon is going to take the win, and with it, the championship he was tied with Swift at points. But by virtue of more wins, he is your champion. Here he is on the right. Angel Atwell on the left wins the women's class. And there's Simmons in the middle as your overall champ. And don't worry, in the coming weeks here on Racer TV, we'll have more in-depth coverage of the 2011 championship tour for the women's classes, the uh, 4x4 riders, and also our UTV series for side-by-sides. So even though the GNCC series for our pro riders here on Racer TV is just about complete, you want to keep tuning in, same time, same channel, to check out all the coverage of the other classes. Definitely going to be fun shows to watch. Fun to watch right now is this man, Taylor Kaiser, who continues to control it. But there's something about GNCC racing. It's kind of like the prevent defense in the NFL. Late in the race, you can count on guys making a run. And you got McGill, Bithel, Boric. Those three are going to, at some point, at least get within sight of Kaiser. It's just the way this game works. You very rarely see someone lead from flag to flag. And it looks like it's Bithel in second right now that's putting on the big push to try to bridge that gap between Kaiser and himself. Then it's Borich third and McGill fourth. And no surprise, once again, these four have gotten away from the field. Jared McClure has been the closest to these four over the last couple of rounds. They're able to inch away from him, but I'll tell you, the gap between those four and McClure, not as big as it once was. McClure could be the next guy to hook on to this group. But right now, there's no doubt who the fastest four in cross-country ATV racing are. And now we got a challenge, and now we have a new leader. Chris Bithel has caught and passed Taylor Kaiser. And he just knew it was going to happen. That's not a slight toward Kaiser. That's just the way this game works. You have a two-hour race. Someone's going to make a mistake. You lose a little ground. The guy gets by, and then he makes a mistake. You get back by him. And we haven't even gotten into lap traffic yet. And that'll really mix things up. So right now, it's Bithel going to run the point as we head across the road and back onto the motocross track. Two different battles shaping up. You have McGill, who has made the move on Boric, third and fourth. And I'll bet you everything I have in my wallet that those two are going to put a challenge to the leaders. But right now, look at the battle for the lead. Kaiser on the uh, left, on the blue, on the inside, trying to make the move on Bithel through the 10 commandments. That's 10 whoops. Now, right, left, lines coming into this corner. Kaiser is trying everything to go where Bithel is not, but he cannot make the move. 
They're back into what they call Storyland, and now headed back out. Nice drive on the inside by Kaiser. Oh, he's going to walk the tightrope, and Bithel on the Can-Am on the inside, just going to hold off the Yamaha. Kaiser not giving up. Side by side over this table. Neither one able to clear it because they were chopping each other's lines off. And they've got to go single file here. This left-hander, they head into a tunnel. Meanwhile, the helmet cam on the moto track, not too far back. You got Boric in fourth with McGill right in front of him. And McGill takes the feet off, showing off for the fans while involved in a vicious battle with Boric. I guess no matter how intense the action gets, racing an ATV through the woods on a motocross track, it's fun. And the pursuit continues as Boric tries to track down McGill in third, and Kaiser still goes after Bithel. Oh, a little bit of lost ground there for Kaiser. And I think that's going to allow these two to close the gap in just a little bit. You got to weigh your options, though. Don't get too wet early. You got to save something for the end. And I think the end of this race, we're going to see a great battle. Stay with us. Racer TV is brought to you by Can-Am. By Amsoil. By DWT. And by Suzuki. And these two won't leave each other alone. Welcome back to Loretta Lynn Ranch and another great battle on the motocross track. Chris Bithel on the right, Taylor Kaiser on the left, and they are wheel to wheel again here as we are past the halfway mark of a two-hour showdown. It's the last round of the year, but these guys know what the momentum at the end of 2011 will mean at the start of 2012. They want the win badly, plus, as they push each other, it allows them to extend the gap over third and fourth place, Adam McGill and Chris Boric. Bithel has himself a win earlier this year. Kaiser doesn't have a victory. And the last couple of weeks, we have seen Kaiser there on the blue really come on strong. You can tell he's frustrated that he doesn't have a win yet. Could today be the day? Well, he's got to find a line to get around Bithel. And he might have it. He worked it on the previous lap, couldn't make it come together. This time, Taylor Kaiser has the lead. And into the tunnel, you can't make a pass back there because it's a one-lane section. Now we're into the pits. The Yamaha folks ready to refuel the YFZ450R. And Bithel in the pits with the DS450. And he's just going to get out with the lead. So a quick pit from the Can-Am folks allows Bithel to take the lead back. But look at the damage that has been done while well, they pitted. Boric and McGill have caught them. So as we suspected, we now have a four rider battle for the lead. Every darn week we see these guys banging off each other. And why not send the year out with a bang again and let the fastest four riders in the game hook it up. There's McGill, who's been pushed back to fourth. A lot of rumors about where these guys are going to ride next year. We've actually heard scuttlebutt that Yamaha is talking to Boric to bring him onto the program. Don't know what that would mean for the long-term uh, job prospects of Kaiser. Kaiser has done a good job, but Boric has the number one plate, and that makes a big difference in negotiating time. Then McGill, we hear, may not be back with Can-Am. Might put his own effort together, possibly on a Honda. So a lot of these guys trying to go out on top and send a message that they will be the man to beat. Oh, and McGill, whoo, almost took that left front wheel off of the machine, almost came in contact with a tree. And that's what we're talking about. When you're in rhythm, even when everything seems going your way in these races, something can come up and bite you. And Kaiser, who has the lead for the second time today, knows it well. You can build up a gap, but until that checkered flag is out, no one is safe on a GNCC track. Now you have Boric making moves. He has gotten around Bithel up to second. 
Did they're gonna hang on the right side and pass boards right back. And these guys love to race each other. They're both kids from Pennsylvania, both in their mid-20s. They definitely have fun at this and they ride and train together a lot. In the off season, you'll catch them uh, down in the Daytona area during the season up at their uh, native Keystone State. Kaiser, meanwhile, whoa, as a Bithel makes a mistake and Boric almost tags him. Kaiser is a Florida native, but he spends most of the year at Bill Balance's ranch in Kentucky. Here is Boric trying to work Bithel on the inside. No one has made that inside line work until now. Boric storming his way into the number two spot. So the rock star Makita Suzuki man right where he wants to be. Late in the race is where your defending GNCC champ does his damage. Did I see Borch just attempt to whip a four-wheeled ATV over that little double? I think I did. He is definitely feeling it. But he is going to have to put the hammer down to get to this guy. Taylor Kaiser is sick of this. Leading on the last lap. Borch putting the pressure on. He does not, does not, does not want to give up the lead. Stay with us. Racer TV is brought to you by Can-Am, by Amsoil, by DWT, and by Suzuki. We've got the helmet cam strapped onto Chris Borich, who's trying to fight his way through lap traffic and the contenders for the win today. They've gotten through the lap rider. Wait a minute, Adam McGill on the right side makes the move. So he has passed Borch to get in the second. We'll bump up to McGill's helmet cam. And now he has gotten around Kaiser. Kaiser got stuck in a tree. And McGill has gone from all the way back uh, from fourth to take the lead. And once again, Kaiser, a mistake could lead to his undoing. He's got to make up ground. And I don't know if he has enough time to do it. A oh, heartbreaker for the man from Alva, Florida who is still gunning for his first win of the year. So now the battle is down to these two, McGill and Boric. These guys are not strangers to each other. Boric very serious about his racing. McGill is the fun-loving guy. You saw him kicking the feet off the pegs uh, earlier on the motocross track. Boric was turning the trick on him several times in these last lap battles. But this year, McGill has vi uh, visited victory lane a few times. He knows what it takes to get it done. And I would not be surprised as you see Kaiser there keeping the hammer down to keep them honest. I would not be surprised if this comes down to the motocross track at the end. I know I said earlier there's a lot of lines in the woods picked out, and I'm sure Boric has them. But if you cannot make the pass in the woods, well, the motocross track, the man who's just most willing to hang it out will win there. And Boric is very good at hanging it out on the moto track. And it is going to come down to that because they've hit the bricks onto the motocross section racing past the famous billboard turn here at Loretta's. And look at that. Kaiser has closed the gap up again in third. It's a three rider fight and Boric almost loses the back end. I said he likes to hang it out, maybe hanging out too much, but he instantly makes the ground back up on McGill and they're side by side. Who's going to break late as McGill tries to squeeze him, but Boric works his way through. Unbelievable. McGill's going to have to lose this inside line. They almost come together. Boric, I think he's going to hold it down the end of this section. Yes, he does. Wisely going down to the inside, taking the line away from McGill. Got about one-third of this motocross track left. Not much time for McGill and Kaiser to make it happen. How many times do we see Chris Boric strike just like this on the last lap? You gotta be strong, you have to be in shape, but you have to have the confidence that you can let those guys lead the pack all day long and you will have something up your sleeve to make it work in the end. And that's what Chris Boric has done time and time again over the last three years. That is why he is once again your GNCC champion. He wrapped up the championship at our last round. Oh, and Kaiser and McGill have come together. And the helmet cam view shows you Kaiser was trying to tuck it to the inside 
and that's going to prevent them from challenging Borich down the stretch, but they're still fighting each other. Here goes Kaiser. Not enough room again. McGill riding the widest Can-Am ATV I've ever seen to try to hold him off. Here we go into the tunnel. They collide again. Meanwhile, Borich oblivious to all of it. He is headed to the checkered flag. Seven wins in the class out of 13 rounds, and Chris Borich does it again. And this battle is still raging. Kaiser wants a piece of McGill. He won't get it. McGill takes second, Kaiser third. Unbelievable racing. They pulled away a bit from Bithel at the end. McClory, another solid ride for fifth. There's the rest of the top 10. Let's go to victory lane with Krista Shaw. Chris Borich making the pass on the motocross track right before the finish. Chris, what is it? Do you, what do you think you do different from your competitors that keeps you up on the podium and consistently winning and winning championships? I don't know. I mean, uh, I just got a good thing going right now. I mean, uh, the bike's working awesome. I feel good. And uh, at, at the beginning there, I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, got off to a slow start, but towards the end of the race, I started picking it back up and uh, getting into a rhythm. And just everything started clicking at that. So uh, I knew on the motocross track I was pretty fast, and uh, I knew I was able to possibly make a move. So, and that's what I waited for. And here are your final standings. Brian Wolf was out with an injury today, still finishes top five in the series. And Kaiser and McGill are going to swap their two and three number plates for next year. Here's your Can Am race recap. Bill Balance with the motorsport.com hole shot today. Good to see it. Bill would finish 11th. His teammate Taylor Kaiser would take the early lead, and then the pressure was applied by Chris Bithel, and these two went at it on the motocross track, and then Chris Borich and Adam McGill would close in to make it a four-rider battle. More on that in a moment, but let's give a shout out to this kid right here, Walker Fowler, a perfect season. 13 wins in 13 races in the XC2 class. That's one notch below these guys. He'll challenge them next year. Speaking of challenges, the last lap it was all sorts of crazy. Kaiser hit a tree, McGill took the lead, then Borich passed McGill here. McGill and Kaiser would collide, Borich would take the win, and these two kept battling to the last turn of the year. What a great year it was. Thanks for joining us. For Krista Shaw, I'm Jason Wigand. See you in 2012.